Okay. Okay, let's uh, stick with Halloween. We've got a real uh, horror story to tell you about. Oh, I hate this one. This <laughs> might give you nightmares. It certainly has given us that. Dia Davidson is here with that in the buzz. Hi, Dia. Hey there. It'll definitely make you itch. Happy Halloween, oh, yeah. everybody. A 36-year-old Florida woman went to multiple doctors complaining about a hard, itchy bump near her well, let's just say a private area. And she says she noticed it after her honeymoon in Belize. Don't go there. Well, doctors <laughs> at Tampa's oh. Medical Hospital thought the lesion could be a cyst or an issue with a lymph node, but it was far more rare. You see, a living creature burrowed itself under the woman's skin. Oh, yeah, just start scratching now. Doctors were able to remove a human bot fly larva, which is essentially a maggot. Oh. The butt fly is rare in the U.S., but common in the tropics. After it was removed, the woman's lesion healed within a week. Now, one of the doctors involved in the procedure wrote a report about it in this month's Journal of Investigative Medicine. So if you want to know more, go pick <laughs> one up on a newsstand near you. And just go read it at your next yeah. Halloween gathering. Mm -hmm. I've got mm -hmm. something really Great story. Spooky. Could you imagine? Oh. That poor girl. I that know. poor girl. Oh, my gosh. And she's on her honeymoon? Yeah, I mean, she's I just trying to just live it up. Soldier through. And, with her new hubby. And then how do you get, you know, where do you even begin the conversation with your doctor? It's like, hi, I There's got this, this thing. little issue. Yeah, and, I mean, then, I guess like Like she us, said, she thought it could have been a bunch of different things at first. That yeah. made right. sense. And yeah. then it was. This larva well, thing. And I wonder how it got there. Did it, is it a, like a. Maybe something. Th yeah. Like in, in Africa, when I was a little girl and we lived there, we had a little dog. His name was Scott. And they had these things called titsy flies. Mm -hmm. And it burrowed into his little tummy. And so they like had a like. Tick or something? Yeah, well, it, it ended up looking like a little worm hanging out. And so oh, they, would pull them, they, they would pull them like out of the little oh. tummy area. So I'm wondering if this was oh. something like that, that bitter and then. Got right you know, be stuck. Got I don't know. There. Whatever it is, thank I'm glad God. she's okay. That is but over for her. All's well that ends well. Okay, this little girl's headless costume is winning this Halloween. Take a look. The girl's mom posted video <laughs> online of her daughter's trick or treating <laughs> in the Philippines last week. Isn't it the cutest? I well, love it. <laughs> her daughter Maya could be seen in the video with no head while collecting candy in her neck. Maya's terrifying costume has gone viral. The video has been watched nearly 20 million times on Facebook. That is awesome. genius. If it keeps going where she turns around, because I've seen it, yeah. the her, the makeup on the little girl's face is perfect too. It gets kind of like a close up. Like she, yeah, like they, she's carrying her it's, head in, on a platter. It's so good. That is hysterical. What, how what how do you dump it. the candy out though? I don't know. I guess what yeah, you candy? just lean over. Does it have like a little <laughs> flap on the back and you break she it doesn't up? doesn't look. I can't tell if she's playing the part to make her face look like that, like, yeah, or like, she's just like really not happy. Yeah, yeah. Or she's like classic she's mom got and this, dad this making this me face wear this. Just like, uh -uh. Well, see, but. Boyd is still young enough to just kind of accept whatever you put yeah. on. But when they get to like Raina's age, they're like, oh, mom, really? Come yeah. on, don't do that to <laughs> I me. I love that one though. It's so clever. Yes. All right, real quickly, a California girl has quite the Halloween costume. Five-year-old Eliza uses a wheelchair and really wanted to be a unicorn. Well, three employees from Varian in Palo Alto volunteered and spent two months making this to fit her chair. They were connected through the Aww. nonprofit Magic Wheelchair. Liza says she's happy about all the lights and can't wait to show her classmates at school. That is the coolest thing. And every little girl loves unicorns. I know mine, mine does. She oh, loves yeah, unicorns. that is so sweet and so inclusive. She exactly. you know, wants to dress up, too, just like all mm -hmm. her friends. And, and now she she is dressed up in probably the coolest costume. Oh, I would yeah. say so. Unless and one of her friends has the headless thing. But yeah. That, we don't know. They go to the same <laughs> as long as they don't have they the do. maggot thing, we're good. And that's <laughs> the bus. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Dia. Stay with us. One last check of your forecast with Jill coming up next.